today we're going to look at the Hero 616 fountain pen. comes in this nice box for such a cheap fountain pen. Um, when you take apart the box, you'll find inside what looks remarkably like a Parker 51 knockoff. It even has the nice Art Deco arrow clip there, little pyramid design on the top. Um, just very extremely similar to a Parker 51. Since they don't produce them anymore, I guess that means I can feel less guilty about buying a knockoff pen. Um, but when you take apart or take off the cap, I should say, it also has the hooded nib just like a Parker 51 did when they were still in production. Uh, this is a, quite a bit cheaper at under $10. It's part of my Battle of the Budget Pens um, article on my website at bestfountainpen.com. It has the two metal rings, just like the original, Parker 51. The only thing is a little cheap mold mark there. They didn't smooth out. It's um, not my favorite looking. Uh, it does post quite well because it eats up so much real estate. If you look at this, it posts all the way down to there on the pin. So that is not coming off. Um, super comfortable when you're using it, so um, no issues there. Let me see if I can show you the inside here. I've got it right now. It comes uh, with a button converter, which means that this, I would, I guess I can take it off and show you. So this is just a flimsy kind of plasticky rubber sack that is permanently attached to the pen. This metal cover here slides over it, and when you're filling it, you just dip the pen in your bottled ink. And then when this is on, I don't want to do it because it's obviously got ink in it and it'll ink everywhere. But when this metal um, cover is on this rubber sack here, you just push this little button, and I don't know if you can see inside there, but see that? That little, um, I guess, horizontal metal compresses this rubber sack and creates a sort of a vacuum that when you release it, it pulls or draws the ink back into the pen. So kind of a very simple design, and I can tell you I've never had good luck with button fills. I just haven't. They don't work for me. They're sloppy. Um, they rarely fill up, but I've been using this pen for a couple days now, and I did get it to fill up almost all the way to the top. I was super surprised, especially with the price point of this pen. I thought for sure it was going to be another loser for me, but it worked out just fine. So I haven't had any issues um, with this pen at all. So I filled it with Coeco Green ink. I had a bottle of that that was unopened, and since the body of the pen is green, I thought it'd be fun to make a match up. The only distinguishing mark on this pen is Hero is a... Um, Chinese company and there's some Chinese symbols here which I'm going to assume are the brand name Hero and then next to it it says Hero 616. So in order to see this right, oh, dropped my lens cap, that's not good. Let me grab some Clairefontaine graph paper that I had and show you. I believe this is a medium. They didn't give me a choice on the nib so I'll update my website if it's not but um, I, it was just one choice. You ordered this pen and it has different body colors on Amazon, but there wasn't um, a whole lot of choice as far as nibs are concerned, so I just ordered whatever they had available. So this is the Hero 616. And you'll see if you look this pen up that it's also marketed as an extra light fountain pen. That is true, it's super light because it's plastic. It almost feels too light, but I like it. It doesn't give me any sort of um, hand fatigue or anything like that. What I love about this pen is it's very smooth and very reliable. I almost didn't want to like it because it's a knockoff. I wanted it to skip and scratch because I just feel bad when people are knocking off designs and don't give the original designers credit, but it's a very smooth pen. I like to call it the poor man's Parker 51. So if you'd like to see more about this pen on my website, just check it out at bestfountainpen.com. Thanks for your time.